Hi Cancer, welcome to Higher Source Tarot for a tarot reading for October 2021 for all Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Thank you to all of you for your support, everything you do for the channel from watching readings and also hitting that like button. When you hit the, when you hit the like button, it does something to the YouTube algorithm so that YouTube will show the reading to people who are searching for it. So it's like very helpful when you do that. And, um, you know, we're connected energetically. I send you love and positive energy every day. I think of you every single day. And if you're new here, welcome to you. I post new readings every Friday, then again on Monday. So if a reading doesn't fit, just come back in a couple of days, watch a new reading. You could check other parts of your chart. You could also look around on the Monday readings because the style of reading is different every week. So this week is the monthly reading. I offer on Mondays a pick a card reading, love reading. I do a quarterly reading uh, during the year. I also do a yearly reading in December. So if you like tarot and you like the channel, I'd love to invite you to subscribe to Higher Source Tarot. All right, what messages, what advice do you have for Cancer? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What does Cancer need to know, please? Messages do you have for Cancer for their best and highest good? All right, so we'll begin here with the tarot reading, then we'll have an Angel Answers Oracle card reading, too. Good things are coming. All right. Current situation, you've got the Queen of Swords. The immediate influence is the Five of Cups. Your destiny, you've got the Nine of Wands. Don't get too scared off by that. We've got the Ace of Swords in the distant past, the Four of Swords in the more recent past. You have the Page of Pentacles coming towards you. You're represented here by the Six of Pentacles. You have the Magician as the person or situation you're dealing with. You've got the Five of Wands. And your hopes and fears of the Knight of Pentacles in the outcome. Now, you know, he gets kind of a bad rap for being like slow moving, but I, I wouldn't say, I, I don't feel like that is, that's a positive card, okay, is what I'm trying to say. It just is more about long-term stability. And you do have some interesting aspects around it. Um, so you have here the High Priestess, the Three of Pentacles, and the Six of Cups in the clarifiers here and i'm just taking a look at this you've got um just two major arcana you've certainly got all the elements here yeah you do okay so with this i do feel like you may have a you may have a beginning with somebody from your past okay you may have a commitment or a relationship showing up with somebody who you already know and that may be why that knight of pentacles is here whoever it is they have a very um they're, they're kind of conservative in terms of, and I don't mean that politically because we don't get into politics here. That's how, that's how videos get restricted, okay, on YouTube. Um, but anyway, kidding aside, um, I mean it like they're, they're more like judicious in how they go about things. So I feel like that's part of why that Knight of Pentacles is there. Whatever you're doing, though, it brings great stability here. So the Three of Pentacles is all about building a future. It's built, It's going in the right direction. Threes are, are wonderful numbers in general. Um, but it, with that Three of Pentacles, you're, it's like there's a mutual respect here if it's work-related. But in a relationship, too, it's hard to ignore that Six of Cups. That is a card of, we like sixes, their reciprocity, their balance, they're bringing in harmonious energies together, and their love. And so with that Six of Cups, there's definitely somebody here who wants a future with you. Now with the High Priestess, this is a very layered card. It's the card of the psychic. So some of you may find you have more clairaudient or clairvoyant experience or clairsentient experiences. Allow them to be so. You know, we get scared sometimes and we start to hit the brakes or we, we don't know how to control it. So it gets, you know, we get to the point where he just shut it off completely, but it can be of value to you. The High Priestess is also a card of balancing energies, the polarities of the, the black and the gray column, but you're pre being protected in this energy. When you see those two columns, it's the inside of a temple. That's what it represents. And she holds the laws of the universe or the, the book of Torah on her lap. And so her gown also represents high vibrational energy. Her, her, this card is the beginning of the pool of consciousness or the seat of the soul. 
that appears in all, not all, most of the major arcana. So it's an important energy here. Um, you know, it's interesting too that the that the magician is here because she's the virgin of the tarot. And so in the in the deck, the Empress is is the third major arcana, and the Empress is perpetually pregnant. And the the way it's written is is it's these two together, right? And so like the magician impreg impregnates the high priestess and that becomes the Empress. So anyway, enough of that. I just needed to tell you that. So if you're you know, if you've got some kind of an energy where you want to have a commitment here, you definitely have it showing up. Now, there was something here that was cutting, wasn't there? Some kind of exchange of words. And so you may have had a breakup and there's a reconciliation coming. Or you may have had a breakup and it's somebody new. But you do have cards of reconciliation here. So I just want to be clear about that. The Queen of Swords um, is clarity. It's She is a good communicator. Can be a bit harsh, though. But overall, the outcome is in your favor. And but I do feel like in one in in this situation, it's one of these times. It's in your favor, but boy, was it painful. You know, when you look back and you go, "I get it now," but did it have to go down like that? Was that necessary? I say this a lot too. You know, we're here in this Earth gym. It's like this workout that we're doing, and each experience that we have is a workout. And I've had some that were brutal, and I've said. My God, who is the trainer that's designing this? They gave me one hell of a workout. I don't want to do it again. Um, it's that kind of energy where you go, okay, it's time for me to get back up, to move forward, and to just keep going. You know, you have a life, you have a purpose, but this was tough, whatever it was. Um, and that Five of Swords, I mean, that, excuse me, Five of Cups, it's disappointment, but I do feel like in this energy, it was a gut punch, whatever it was, if it was the loss of a job or a relationship. It feels more relationship to me, but it also could be, you know, something like that. She is too. The Queen of Swords is also the widow of the tarot. Um, so with that Five of Cups, that also for some of you, if it was a, a physical loss, like of a loved one, a good friend, something like that, where there's true grief, because there's true pain there. I, I just want to acknowledge that in its entirety. So with the nine of wands in your destiny position, you don't give up, okay? You keep going forward, but boy, you've learned from these wounds. He's beefed up from all the battles he's done. I do feel like you are of um, great value to people around you. Your experiences are, you bring a soothing energy, you bring an understanding because you've been through a lot of things and people can relate to that and they can just feel it in your energy because you can't make that up, right? You can't compensate for experiences you've never had and you don't understand. Um, you've got something about you, though, where people feel that. But again, you keep going forward. You've got a conquering spirit. This is not lay down in a puddle and cry. Not that we don't do that sometimes, because we do, and that's okay temporarily. We just don't want to stay there. Otherwise, all we do is attract more puddles. This is like you move forward and you're attracting strong people. I like that Knight of Pentacles in this reading. I think that... It is somebody of strength and character and wants to do things in the right way. I actually think it's a, a breath of fresh air considering these other energies. So again, in the uh, distant past, you had something that ended here. And with this um, Ace of Swords, it is clarity though. I feel like it was not, you know, it's not Seven of Swords where it's like a, a poorly thought out. I do feel like it was, it felt like it had to happen for some reason. And so with the Ace of Swords, though, it does offer you a new beginning and a new focus. I do feel like um, the, the energy that it brought to you was a spiritual focus, going within, finding yourself, and kind of being to that place where you go, my God, what is my whole life about? Um, you know, Wayne Dyer talks about a, a short story by Leo Tolstoy, The Death of Ivan Illich, and at the end of his life, He's holding his wife's hand who he couldn't stand. He couldn't stand his wife. And he said, what if I got it all wrong? And so anyway, Wayne Dyer talks about don't die with the music still inside of you. And it's like, this is where you stopped running from your gift, whatever that was for you. You were in a place where it was being muted. Something had to change. The universe won't keep you there. It had to change because it allowed you to go into this place of four of swords where you can quiet your mind down and get back to center. And whatever was being lost or whatever was getting too far out of your reach, it's back within reach. This is asking, it is given. 
knock and the door will open. So you get quieted down. You may have been on a spiritual quest after all of that. And I've done it myself. I remember sitting on a rock at the top of Cathedral Rock, I think it was, or yeah, I think that was right. And um, all by myself, nobody was around me. And just sitting there in stillness in Sedona, Arizona, and just saying, take my entire self-concept, whatever this noise is, just take it. And it changed my life. It got me into a place where there's this centeredness, and I feel it for you too. So you don't necessarily have to go climb a mountain and sit on the top of it. You can do it right at home, um, but I do feel like it gets you to that place where things are back to center. And this is what it starts to bring in. You get into this magical place. I mean, I do love the energies that are here when we start to see, look at all the yellow, okay, in the backgrounds here. Yellow are, it's gifts from the universe. It's like you're in flow here. You're being brought in blessings. And so I really do like the turn that this reading is taking. Um, I'd rather have it this way in the, than in the reverse, right? But the Page of Pentacles, pages are new energy, their optimism, their enthusiasm. This Page of Pentacles brings in somebody, they may be good with um, fixing things and it might not be their job, but I feel like they're handy or they're good at using their hands to create. Maybe they're into sculpting or something too, I don't know. But whatever it is, this person's like very hands-on. I feel like they're like a very kinesthetic energy. There's something about them and using their body in a way that it's just they move energy that way. But I do feel like they have optimism and they're a bit more prudent, like I said, with that Knight of Pentacles. And so I feel like they're good with money too. Um, you know, not that that's all that we search for, but I do feel like they're stable financially. They're, they've got a level-headedness, even though they do have a fun, adventurous side about them. So it's somebody who comes in and brings an offer. Now, if it's a job for you or it's money in general for you, again, there's money coming in here. So it may just be a consistency with work, having consistent work, um, and finding things that you actually enjoy, especially if you do something hands-on, if you do hair or massage or you know, anything that you're physically doing, using your body to do it, it's um, it's an energy that will also attract money. It's creating wealth. So here you are again, speaking of creating wealth, Cancer, with the Six of Pentacles, this is also a card of bringing in balance financially. So if something rocked your world, like we talked about, and it brought an imbalance financially, this is where you get back to center financially as well. Um, it also could be you helping other people because somebody here has just a little bit more to offer. So if it's, I don't feel like it's in that relationship though. I don't feel like they're going to be coming in from a financial lack at all or a fi financial deficit. This feels more like work stuff, work related or helping out a family member. Um, so with the energy that you're attracting, the person or the situation is represented by the magician. It's a complete transformation. And it's this energy that creates worlds. Thoughts become things. Whoever this is, they have a lot of power in their own life to create, manifest, whether they understand that concept or not. Um, in terms of work too, though, it's definitely an abundance energy. It's getting exactly what you want. It's being in the right place at the right time with the right people. And having the offer that seems like, how could this even be? It seems so coincidental, but it's not. It's all been architected through vibration and energy. And so with this, you have a relationship that actually has a lot to offer. It's not just the financial stability and the emotional stability, but there's passion, there's love and good communication here too. So it's a, it's a wonderful energy. You know, like I said, thoughts become things in that energy. So you have here... This five of wands, this is in your hopes and fears. You're not looking for conflict. You're not looking for drama. And you're wanting to, and I feel like whoever you're attracting, they're not either. This is not for them either. Fives are all about activity, but they're also about change. And so, if, again, in the past, you had something definitely that shows that it ended here. Um, it's just not wanting to recreate things that will be, you're looking for simplicity, but happiness. It's like, this is a bit too chaotic. So with that Knight of Pentacles, the Knights are of good intentions. They're they're oriented to society. They're oriented in a way that, especially this one, has a lot of integrity. 
it's very stable. This is somebody who's very dependable. So in terms of moving forward in the future, you're attracting dependable people, honest people. And it's not that this doesn't move forward, but it's like with a lot of precision. So sometimes there are delays here. And it also can be with money um, where it is happening. If it's for a promotion or a new job for you, it brings in long-term financial stability, but it does take a little bit to get off the ground. So what we do with this, why I like the page there is the page moves forward a little quicker. So the combination of the two energies may be exactly what you need to get to keep the momentum going. Um, but overall, it is bringing in an offer and it's long term. So we like that. So let's see what the angels have to say here for cancer. And a timeline and a yes, no, maybe. All right, you have here, if you believe, so ask, believe, receive, trust. Trust that the universe is always trying to interact with you. The universe feels your energy all the time. The situation will improve, I would say so. And you're definitely coming out of a difficult position within the next few weeks, they say. And yes, okay, so good things are on the way for you, Cancer. I love you, and I'll be back again soon.